Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Whirlpool washing machine, a WWDL 6200. I picked it up off the street. It was left out for scrap. I can't tell you very much about it. I was told it was working, but when I plugged it in, nothing happened. It didn't light up at all. There's a sticker here that was stuck on there, blocking that soap drawer. I'm taking those two screws out of the back, we should be able to get the top off now. Forwards, I think backwards, does it? Does it lift up? How does this one come off? Let's try kicking it. No, oh, it's just making it dirty. Oh dear. So with a gentler hand, you lift it up at the back and then it slides forward a little bit. There's little tabs there that catch on those little tabs there. So just slide forward, lifts up and slides forward. So what do I want to check? Well, first thing I'll do is plug it in, check there's electricity coming to here. If it's coming to there, then it's a board problem probably. Don't know beyond that. This, this uh, waste thing's fallen off. Don't know how that's meant to clip on there. Missing a piece of plastic on the top, the looks of things. Just have to figure that out. It's got no hose on it. I was going to try it on a spin cycle just to see how it looks. Something stuck in there. A bit of something rusty. Sounds fine. Belt's on. I've looked at one of these in the past. In my grandmother's house she had one similar and uh, the belt had fallen off and the bearings were absolutely dead on it. Sealed tub, no fixing it, nothing to do. Okay we'll plug it in and see how we get on. Okay I've plugged it in, spin buttons here, start button here, if we turn it, there's no lights coming on the board. I've changed the fuse in the plug so let's get the multimeter out and see if we're getting power. Put it onto AC. I'm expecting 240. Yeah, no. That's strange. Okay, I'll plug it out and try the cable. There we go, I've got it now somehow. 240 volts, maybe you can see that. So there's power coming to the suppressor, to the noise suppressor here. That means it looks like the cabling from there or the board. So these two black cables take the power from the suppressor down there up here to the front. They look okay as best as I can tell. Suppressor's the other option. Check that voltage out. I'll start taking off the front I think before I do anything there and uh, we'll have a look if power's getting to the board see if we can fold it down and work it that way. Okay, I've taken out two screws on top, this one and this one, and then three screws here, here, and here, off the soap drawer. So this should snap out somehow. Pulling it over here and pulling it to the left, and then on this side it pulls to the right a bit, because these two tabs, this one down here and this one up here, gets stuck in there. Now, that's a pretty small board. And we can see everything on it. So which one's the power then? Oh dear. I'm guessing it's ooh. Yeah, I'm guessing it's this one with two connectors. It's coming straight into the switch. Nothing there. When it's off, you see, the switch switch genuinely controls power in and then to each setting. Strange one that. If it's a board issue, it's probably dead. Probably not going to be fixed. How far do I want to go with it? plugging it out? Can I get a multimeter in there? Let's try. Let's 
give it the voltage again. The machine's still live at this point. Set that down there, can we see it? Yep. Yeah, it's getting two, three, four, two, three, three volts here. So I'm guessing there's a problem with the board in that case. What are we gonna do? Well, actually there's one thing we can do before I do any of that. Let's just turn it on to spin again, gentle spin. Close the door. Press start. We're getting nothing back. We're not getting service light. We're not getting door open light. Nothing there. Quite a cool machine. It's got water tap closed. It's got clean pump. It's got its own diagnostics. They all have, but it's got a visible readout for diagnostics for the simple things to the user, which is quite useful. Yeah, I don't see anything happening there. Let's turn it off and take the board out. So with a little screwdriver, I'm gonna pop up all of these plugs all around. There's a little plastic tab, you can't see, so well if you can maybe, it's in there. Push that in, they don't make these easy. Might actually be easier to pop the board out completely, would it? Before I do this, yeah, there we go. It is plugged out or unplugged, as some people say. What's it getting trapped on there? It's got two tabs in the bottom, so don't like noises like that. Okay, with that off, then we can get in here. In case you hadn't noticed, I have no idea what I'm doing. This looks like the element or the motor control. Maybe both. That's the power in. And then it's the same on this end, and these little plastic tabs. There we go, there's the part numbers, the date, there's a date on it, 124, there's another date over on the soap drawer, um, that little yellow sticker says 30.4, so that sounds like week 30 in 2004, 124, 2004, don't know, version actually, software version something 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 0403, could be 2003 software, uh, that makes sense then. Oh no, date, <laughs> plain. Big old letters, 2011. Right, don't know what 124 is then. 2011, so it's nine years old. WWDL 6200, is that what the machine is? Yep, WWDL 6200. I'm gonna take this apart somehow. So just little tabs up here, you push them in and then that should lever down. Somehow snaps out. So at this point, I have nothing invested in this machine other than the time it took me to collect it. And yes, my time has a value, but it's it's not very high that value right now. 
Okay, we're in. There's the board. It looks perfect. I can't see any problems on that. Got a heat sink there on your probably motor triac TR01. Got this switch. If power's getting into it, that's where the knob goes in there and then twists around. If power's getting into it, it's not getting out. Well, that's kind of the end of that. So power's coming in there and the switch is turning on and off. What would be the mains? So it looks like from the traces here, we've got a big one and another big one. The only button I didn't press was reset, but I didn't see any lights. So looking at this, uh, forgetting which way is up and down now, but it's reset and start, delay start and rapid, maybe. The big traces are probably power. They're all powered in some way, but I can't see any issue with this board. And I would say the issue on the board is in this switch. And I've opened one of those in the past and it's just a, it's just a nightmare because you really can't see very much once you get in there. And once you do, there's little springs and little ball bearings that pop out. Oopsie. I'm just playing with it there and it does seem to be working. It only has points at each of the nodes. And it's a proper click for that. I do wonder what that could be. There's no signs of any arcing, blowing, smoking, anything like that, which is what I'd normally look for. We have a bad trace of solder down there, but it's not the end of the world. Hmm. And it's got it's a double sided board, it's got traces on both sides, so it might be the lives on one side and neutrals on the other. It's a possibility or some combination. Don't know, I'll put it back together and just try it one more time. So I've put it all back together again. Power's on, getting anything. There's not a light coming on there. Press and hold that reset button. One, two, three, four, five, six. Press the start button, two, three, Four, five, six. Okay. I'd appreciate your help if you've got any ideas on this one. That's the Whirlpool WWDL 6200. I'm going to say that by looking at it, everything works apart from this control board, which is usually the way with these things. Um, I'm going to check out how much a board costs, but let's say it costs 20 quid, and I've already used up half an hour looking at this machine. How much do you think I'd get for this machine? It's dirty, that'll clean off. It's not new, it's nine years old, which to me says it's worth somewhere around 50 quid. 50 pounds sterling, which isn't very much. If I spend 25 quid on a board and I get to keep it working, I might do that because it's my time, like I say, it's got little value, this is a hobby. So I'd rather keep a machine working, especially when it is quite clean like this one. If a board is 100 quid, well, that's it, it's out. You're not gonna fix it. So I'll have a look online. If you have any ideas that something that I can replace that switch, but it seems that that switch is quite particular 
because it seems to line up with all of these things so it's probably a specialist item any ideas let me know and appreciate your help stick them in the comments thanks for watching filthy hands see you later